हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी स्टार्ट द टॉपिक अल्जेब्रा पार्ट टू दिस इज द कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ लास्ट प्रेजेंटेशन इन दिस चैप्टर वी स्टडीड अबाउट व्हाट इज इक्वेशन सॉल्यूशन ऑफ इक्वेशन ट्रायल एंड एरर मेथड फॉर फाइंडिंग द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ इक्वेशन सम एग्जांपल्स एंड what we learned in the whole chapter and some assignments for the students now what is an equation students we know about a balance which a vegetable seller use you already know that the vegetable seller use a balance in which two plates are balanced with a horizontal if equal quantities are placed in both slides of balance only then it is called a balance position in picture you you, you can see the balance in balance both the plates having equal quantities therefore it is the balance position if we put four balls in right plate and some balls without counting in left plate which is heavier than the right plate let the number of balls in left plate be x because we don't know in left place left plate how many balls and left plate is heavier than right therefore x is greater than 4 if we remove one ball from the left plate then the number of ball in left plate is x minus 1 now again x minus 1 is greater than 4 here x minus 1 is an algebraic expression because x is a variable if we remove one more ball from the left plate now both plates are in equal level x minus 2 is equals to 4 here x minus 2 equals to 4 is called an equation in which x minus 2 is left hand side lhs of equation and 4 is right hand side means rhs of equation and both is bounded with equal sign so it is called an equation we can find the solution of equation for this let us recall the matchstick pattern of l in matchstick pattern of l we find the number of matchsticks for different l patterns a number of matchsticks for one l pattern is 2 number of matchsticks for 2 l pattern is 4 for 3r pattern number of matchsticks is 6 and so on so we can, we prepare the general rule for this number of matchsticks is equals to twice into number of l's that means 2n where n is a variable if it is given that number of matchsticks equals to 10 so 2n is equals to 10 is an equation for finding the solution of equation if 2n is equals to 10 is equation here 2n shows the number of matchsticks and 10 is also shows the number of matchsticks now we have to find the value of n that means for if we use 10 matchsticks then how many l patterns are formed now we have find we have to find value of n that means number of l's for which lhs is equals to rhs for given equation for n is equals to 3 lhs is equals to 2n means 2 into 3 equals to 6 which is not equals to 10 that means right hand side if we take n is equals to 4 then lhs is equals to 2n equals to 2 into 4 
equals 8 again it is not equals to 10 that is RHS if we take n is equals to 5 then LHS equals to 2n equals to 2 into 5 equals 10 which is equal to RHS for n is equals to 5 LHS equals to RHS so n is equals to 5 is a solution of given equation 2n equals to 10. So students the value of variable which gives both sides of equation are equal is called its solution. That means for a fixed value of variable which satisfy the equation is called the solution of equation. Now we can find the solution of equation by trial and error method. Taking different values of variable to find the solution of an equation is called solution of an equation by trial and error method. That means to find the value of variable we take different different values of variable and see that the both the sides of equation are equal or not and the value for which both the sides are equal this is the solution of variable. There is other methods also for finding solution of an equation which we studied in upper classes. To make more clear we take some example. Solve equation 3x minus 2 equals to 10 by trial and error method. Here our equation is 2x minus 2 equals to 10. 3x minus 2 means left hand side and 10 means right hand side. If we take x is equals to 1 then our left hand side LHS equals to 3x minus 2 means 3 into 1 minus 2 gives 3 minus 2 equals to 1 which is not equals to 10 that means RHS. We take another value x is equals to 2 then our LHS equals to 3x minus 2 equals 3x into 2 minus 2 equals to 6 minus 2 gives 4 which is again not equal to 10 that is RHS. Again for x is equals to t left hand side LHS equals to 3x minus 2 means 3 into 3 minus 2 gives 9 minus 2 equals to 7 which is not equals to 10 left hand right hand side. We take another value of x that is x is equals to 4. Then our left hand side equals to 3x minus 2 equals to 3 into 4 minus 2 means 12 minus 2 which is equals to 10. This is our right hand side. So for x is equals to 4 left hand side equals to right hand side. Therefore x is equals to 4 is a solution of a given equation. In this way we can find the value of equation that means solution of equation by trial and error method. In this chapter what we in this chapter what we learn first sometimes numbers can be represented as variables a variable takes on different values and its value is not fixed. We can use any letter of English alphabet to show variable. For example, x, y, z, n, l, m, p, etc. Variable can use to express a general rules. Algebraic expressions having variables and numbers with mathematical operations. Value of an algebraic expression is changes as value of variable varies. Equation is equality having two sides LHS and RHS. We can find solution if an equation by using trial and error method. Value of variable which satisfy the equation is called the solution of equation. These main points we learned in the 
होल चैप्टर अलजेब्रा विच वी विच यू रिमेंबर ऑलवेज नाउ स्टूडेंट्स यू कैन सॉल्व ऑल द क्वेश्चन एंड एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ एन सी आर टी टेक्सट बुक हियर सम अदर असाइनमेंट्स फॉर यू सम मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन रीड इट केयरफुली एंड ट्राई टू गिव देअर एंसर्स हियर मोर प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन गिवन यू कैन सॉल्व दीज क्वेश्चन एंड वन पीसा बेस्ड क्वेश्चन विच इज interesting for you read carefully and find the answers of given questions thank you